Rangers have become a very touchy subject recently. Hamilton and Ontario police forces both want to give their cops more of the stun guns, even while the RCMP is being grilled over fatally electrocuting the landed immigrant about a year ago. A particular issue is the fact that this man, Robert Zakansky, was shot five times with the weapon mere seconds after several heavily armed Mounties met with him at an airport. Yes, he was throwing a tantrum prior to that, but according to an infamous videotape, he had out of his system by then, and he was only armed with a lowered stapler. If that's all it takes to be potentially killed by our police, we're in really big trouble. Tasers are supposed to be treated in a very similar way to firearms. In other words, the police are only supposed to use them if their lives are in danger. But incidents like Sikansky's are relatively common, and that tasers are being often deployed against people who are just a minor nuisance. I'm honestly not sure what's worse, the fact that potentially lethal weapons are used so casually, or that the police feel that raising your voice is enough to have a very painful and crippling weapon fired at you. This is particularly bothersome when the Ontario Provincial Police are known lately for their double standards in land disputes, in other words, doing nothing to stop natives from going out of control but stamping all over the local residents, as well as spying on law-abiding citizens, and it's also a problem when the RCMP have been known to shoot suspects or prisoners who are already subdued, plus their Prime Minister Harper's personal security. So, the admission by the RCMP commissioner that some retraining needs to be done is another case of too little too late. The cops are supposed to protect us, but many of them feel that they can just shoot anyone who annoys them, and nine times out of ten they don't even have to answer for it, even when it's obvious that they should. After all, Robert Zakansky was outnumbered, outgunned, and out of steam by the time the Mounties found him. They still tased him five times and never revived him. They shot him to death in cold blood, yet they've been cleared of criminal charges. I can't be the only one in this country who thinks that there's something very chilling about that. It's long past time that something is done, not only for Robert's family, but for all of us. That's it for me.